guys, my name is Shabana. I work in the Department of Economics at Shivnada University. I, my work is primarily in microeconomics. What is microeconomics? Microeconomics is working with individuals. Rather than be looking at the whole economy, we work with individuals. Like that is our main focus. And today I'm here to talk to you about this year's Nobel laureates. There were three, Card, Ingress, and Imbens. They have also got the Nobel Prize for their work in the same domain of microeconomics. Card works on labor economics. What does he do? His work, which has uh, gotten him the Nobel Prize in some ways, is because of what he worked on where it comes to minimum wages, like the minimum amount of money you need to give somebody to work for you, and how raising that, will it affect the number of people who are being employed or not? So that was his work and Imbens and Angrist, what they have done for economics and for our understanding of the world is that they have told us how to go about asking and answering questions in the sense that they have made a methodological contribution. What is their contribution? They talk to us about specifically the way in which I can understand whether a particular event is the reason why something else happened. For example, just to give you a very general example, all of us know that democracies are good, right? So now, is it the case that we first have to have a democracy and then we'll see future growth? Or the other way, that once an economy grows, then the democratic practices will happen. Over the history of the world, we have seen all kinds of things happen. Democracies have done well, Places which were not democracies have done well and become democracies. So which way does this measure go? So the, that is the kind of work. So what came first, the chicken or the egg? That is what basically to be able to decipher the direction in which the movement happens, what is causing what, is what the basic idea behind uh, the causal inference work of Angrist and Imbins is, which is what has given all of us to say the right toolkit to measure what we want to discuss in economics. So today we're going to talk about something we call natural experiments. Now those two words together sound very fun, right? So what is a natural experiment? It's basically when, say for example, the government does something. Their intention is to, is objective A. But now I'm an economist and I go and I'm like, oh, they've done this. I can use this particular experiment to understand if some, if this is causing something else. So that is what we call a natural experiment in the sense that the objective of the experiment is something else and I am going to use it to learn something different. Let's try and talk about the same idea of finding the cause of things but in different contexts. Take for example, there was this program which is called the cycle program in Bihar. So what does the cycle program, what did the cycle program do? It was supposed to give girls cycles so that they could go to school, right? So naturally, when they got cycles, they went to school. But it also had other things happen. For example, and this is where the natural experiment part of it comes. I can use this particular experiment, which was in education, to talk about what happened to girls' empowerment. So because of the cycles, now girls were in many different domains. They were able to go out, they were able to go to the market, and that resulted in girls getting empowered. So a program which was meant to get girls educated worked as a natural experiment or a way of me looking at how education can also result in more, uh, basically, girls having a, have, being more empowered. Right. Like so basically is it like a behavioral change you're talking yeah. about? See exactly. So the cycle did one thing which was get them educated, but it does many more things. So this is like a shock to the system. The cycle changed how much they could study. And I use that shock to the system to see whether they study more 
as far as uh, if that study helps them in other domains like being more confident in uh, in the marketplaces being able to have more say in the house so that's what the natural experiment is so will like probably having that cycle in the household also mean that probably they become more social outgoing their behavioral patterns in terms of expenditure change will you be, will you also like probably in microeconomic study that as an economist of course and that's what so because what i started off with this shock to the system now whatever change is happening i know it is a surprise it isn't planned it isn't like people's behavior is changing all the time and that's why but this is happening because of a shock and so now i know for sure that it is education which is resulting in all of these changes because this experiment all it did was change education everything else is happening because of that so that's what basically a natural experiment is and that's how we are able to connect education to all the changes we see around us like in the society in bihar and there are many more examples like this but this is one particular example in which we have a natural experiment so out of curiosity one question so the economist is looking at from the point of view of have the cycle becoming uh, uh, basically the change master or the education the policy of education becoming the change master so this education is the change master but what we've done is we've shocked the system with more education through the cycle so the experiment is the cycle and what are you experimenting on education you're just looking at the chain effects yes. what happens what happens and what happens yes. now let's study the same phenomena of cause and effect in a different situation let's think about a cycle stand right there are cycles standing in a row and there is this person who comes and nudges the extreme left side now all the cycles start toppling mm. and there's a person who's standing on the extreme right and he falls because of this mm. now you don't see the first person who nudged the cycle but what do you see that the second person fell because of a cycle right? right so now how do i know what is the cause is the cycle the cause are the cycles the danger or is the person the danger mm. right so now if we had to test this what we would what would we do we'd put up a cycle stand in which you fix your cycle mm. now nobody is going to fall and get hurt right. so we know that it was the person who was nudging and the cycles themselves are not causing yeah. this is a standard experiment mm. now what is a natural experiment natural experiment is in the same setting just think about the cycle stand now there are people who will come and start using the cycle stand so there'll be a little tuck shop which will open that tuck shop will start doing business because of this cycle stand correct now what what are we trying to do how does policies affect the economy right so now this policy where we made all of these little cycle stands directly we don't know if it, it should have no effect on the economy because all you wanted to do was make sure this person that people don't get hurt yeah but now because of the tuck shop there is a boost in the economy because of this policy right mm -hmm. the tuck shop will open then a cycle repair shop will open right that is what a natural experiment is okay. so the experiment is the first one the natural experiment is where you're using the setting for a different question what is my question can i boost economic outcomes i can i started two new businesses because of a cycle shop so that's where we can talk about natural experiments and being able to find cause and effect so right. now this particular policy which was intended for a different purpose has still had an effect on our overall economy it's created jobs right, right? right. so that's where that's how we use causal inference and that is what imbens and angrist have helped us understand how we can use different settings not meant for your situation to understand cause and effect in your particular situation okay, which so is the, the economy so the result of a natural experiment doesn't have to automatically and directly connect to the original cause of it right because it can happen regardless like with the cycles in the shops they mm -hmm. weren't connected in any way yeah. but they still promoted economic boost mm -hmm. so they don't have to be connected right the result and no. the it could be like a natural disaster mm. right 
the pandemic has created a natural experiment of all sorts right it wasn't meant to but it did right so now we'll know different things work from home how does it affect productivity right. people are not choosing it the natural experiment of the pandemic has forced them there but they'll be able to understand that it was because of this originally mm -hmm. so that's how we can talk about the effect of things which we may not be choosing ourselves right right because when we think of choice then there's a lot of other things which come so that's what angrus and imbens contribution is to be able to help us with cause and effect separating from choice so now let's talk about the same concept of cause and effect or causality in another situation and what you will realize with this example is that causality is everywhere even when you're talking to a young person so think about a situation riyan we had the pandemic right and during the pandemic what happened is that schools closed so now with the schools closing what happened did you did you get to learn no initially you didn't and then how did you learn on the computer right you learned on the computer but now even before you were going uh, before the pandemic everybody was talking about how uh, computers can help children learn or not learn right but there was no way of us understanding if computers are going to be helpful or not mm -hmm. but then the pandemic came and there was no other option it was like suddenly shock to the system was the pandemic so that the children don't go to school no it made it was so that we don't get sick right yes yes but what we were also able to understand because of that is that if you ask very small children like you mm -hmm. to study only on the computer then they don't learn so much mm -hmm. right you learn much more in school right yes yeah. but we only understood that much better after the pandemic yes So how did we understand that before the pandemic you used to go to school and you used to use computers right after the pandemic and you were stuck at home no going to school only computers so now once we realize that when you're only learning from computers you're not learning so much you're learning lesser then we know that no computers are not so helpful right not always not for small children they need to also go to school so that's what a natural experiment is what was the experiment nature did for us the pandemic right and what did we learn because of this experiment that we need schools for children to learn it can't happen only on computers so that's another way in which we are able to understand cause and effect Right? we were able to understand that if you only have online school then children will not learn so much they need the physical school to also learn right so was it fun to be able to go back to school or to learn online it was fun to be able to go back to school yes so we all learned something with the pandemic which is like a natural experiment okay